Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Prism Football 5 box, Mega Box Edition, random team break number one. The next one is on uh, in the store, as you can see. We sold 16 spots. Everyone gets two random team to NFL, no vet common ship, a lot of exclusive stuff in this Mega Box stuff. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. Let's double you up. And all 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a four. Ten times for names and teams. One, two, three. Nine and tenth and final time. After ten, we've got Mark down to Michael. And then six and a four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And tenth and final time. After ten, we got Vikings down to the New York football Giants. All right, so Mark with the Vikings, Kurt with the Rams, James with the Bengals, Raymond with the Broncos, Travis with the Washington football team, Keanu with Carolina, Joseph with the Eagles, Michael with the Browns, Michael uh, Michael S. with the Browns, Michael M. with the Bears, Keanu with the Chargers, Kurt with the Lions, um, Saints for Raymond, Titans and Chiefs for Joshua B., James with the Dolphins, Joseph with the Ravens, Jeff with the Patriots, Justin with the Packers, Robert with the Texans, Justin with the Niners, Michael S. with the Jets, Mark with the Cardinals, Andrew with the Falcons and my Raiders, Jeff with the Cowboys, Travis with the Seahawks, Chris with the Bucks and Bills, Robert with the Steelers, Chris D. with the Colts and Jags, and Michael M. with the New York Football Giants. Let's get all this on one page and sort by column B. We're going to pause the video in just a second and see if there's any uh, trade chatter. When we come back, um, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll do the break. Stick around. No, I'm good. Welcome back, folks. We got five boxes right here of the Mega. There's two back there, two right here, and one right here. There were no deals, not even a whisper for a trade. So there's everybody right here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. On these mega editions, we're looking for these neon neon green. I think are the exclusives, among other things. I don't think the, it looks like maybe one box, one autograph per box on average. But it's mostly the parallels. I think is what we're what we're trying to chase here. That's the important stuff. There's O.J. Howard. There's the there's that green right there, the pulsar. There's Jonathan Taylor as well. Is he going to be something special? We'll find. Maybe maybe he'll write his name into the history books this weekend. There's a nice silver Chase Young. Nice. That's for Travis Gomez and the Washington Football Team. Nice. Green Darius Leonard. And 
and there's our autograph. That's Jordan Brooks for Seattle. That will be for Travis Gomez as well. Nice Brady here too. What's going to happen with Brady this weekend? Chris Parent, Buccaneers. Juan, what's going on? You feeling upset coming this Saturday? Where do you where do you think that upset's gonna happen? Maybe upset of Tom Brady? Sure, everyone saw this uh, this little trivia nugget all over in it, all over the NFL uh, network and ESPN and whatnot. The last time a team, right? I mean, hopefully, I'm saying this right. The last time a team <coughs> finished under 500 and still went to the playoffs was Ron Rivera's Carolina Panthers, and they won that first game. So Rivera's done it before. There's Anthony Gordon, Green Auto, another one for Seattle, and uh, that's for Robert. Or I'll uh, check that Travis and the Seattle Seahawks. It's been all, all Travis so far. There's Green DJ Dallas, also for Seattle. But yeah, we were discussing that the other uh, yesterday, Juan. We were we were like, you know what? When 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 is Tom Brady least effective? He's the least effective when. If he's got time to throw, <laughs> he can pick you apart. You know, he can pick you apart. He's going to make all the right plays. You know. But Washington does have a pretty good pass rush, so they can. Yeah, that's the big question. Who do you think makes it to the Super Bowl in the NFC? Hmm. Yeah, Juan's biased, but he said he says Packers. I mean, maybe maybe this is maybe this is the Packers' year. I think Aaron Rodgers is playing at a pretty high level this year. He's got a they got a great running game. I think their pass catchers are are better than a lot of people think. And I think the Packers' defense is is a lot better than people think. I originally thought, and I, I, I have no like uh, financial interest in this or anything like that, but I kind of thought that the Rams, even though they're kind of a boring team, they're sneaky, sneaky good. Like all the metrics are, are, are there. But without Goff, I don't know if, you know, Goff's broken thumb. I think without him, I don't know if that's gonna, and he's kind of inconsistent anyway. But, but if they had a consistent golf, I think I think that's that was a that's a pretty strong team. There's Josh DeGuara. Speaking of the Packers, that's gonna go to Justin Gutting in Green Bay. I mean, is it? What about the Saints? It's, Saints are pretty good too. 
Karen, did I, does anyone think bears? Bears, yeah. Imagine, imagine if Trubisky. Trubisky leads the Bears to <laughs> deep into the playoffs. Is the Super Bowl... I have no idea when the Super Bowl is going to be, 1st or the 8th. I, I guess it's entirely possible... Um, it's entirely possible that the Super Bowl could be pushed back a week. There's, like, COVID issues. Mm, other way around, Rex. I don't know if the Falcons fans want to be reminded of that. They, they did not upset the Patriots. But it was... When the Falcons had a big lead on the Patriots, then the Patriots came back and beat them. Sorry, Falcon fans. I don't want to bring that up. We don't have to dwell on it. Move on. Yeah, I mean, may, may, maybe I mean maybe John Wolford for the Rams one could he could he could pull off some sort of uh, some sort of Nick Foles type story. So I don't know. I think the Rams. I don't. I mean, at the end of the day, does it? Is it feels like a little bit of a moot point, doesn't it? I feel like it's any any AFC AFC team could beat whatever NFC team gets there. I feel like. Well, most of the AFC teams. There's Cole Komet and Zach Ertz right here. Man, Bears. What? What? What if? What if it was like Mitchell Trubisky and Cole Komet just? They do say defense wins championships, right? So maybe if that defense gets hot and Trubisky just does just does just enough. Oh my God. And there's Quez Watkins for the Eagles. Green auto going to the Fly Eagles Fly. Joseph is on with that. There's Van Jefferson for the Rams. Last mega box. There's a there's another five in the store right now. Lonnie definitely thinks he feels weirdly that the the Bears beat the Saints on a game winning field goal to make up for the double doink. Yeah, I mean that that would be such a such a Saintsy sort of thing, right? Poor Saints. I don't mind Drew Brees. I'd like to see him maybe win another one before all said and done. There's Raekwon Davis. And there's Darren Waller. Autograph. Nice. Love Darren Waller. Andrew with the Raiders. It's pretty nice. Broke uh, Tim Brown's receptions record, I think. Franchise record for the Raiders. With 104, 107 catches, something like that. A 
Willie Gay Jr. for the Chiefs. Rookie Silver going to Joshua B. I don't think we've seen any of the big quarterbacks, so maybe in the next five boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't see him here, but we did get the Darren Waller autograph. That was not too shabby at all, the Chase Young Silver. And that's it. A five box, mega box, random team one in the books, prison football. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.